I need to think through a couple of more things that I'm not sure about, but I will make the video and I will get it out, I promise. There's a couple of things though I just wanted to comment on and mention before I make that full length video about each team and breaking down my opinions. I want to state that I do think that Shador Sanders is going to be the best quarterback in the Big 12, by far. And because of Shador, I think that Colorado will win more games than I originally thought in my head that they would win. I do think he's an X factor. There's a couple of other things that I also think are, are X factors, just like I think Shador is an X factor. I think playing Nebraska and Colorado State on the road to open the season, um, that makes me a little bit nervous. I'm not saying that I think Colorado is going to lose those games. I'm just going through some things in the schedule that I'm not quite sure how I feel. Um, consistently. And so this is just me talking through the schedule and talking through teams in no particular order that I'm talking through them. I don't have the schedule pulled up because when I come to make my video about the schedule, better believe I will have a notepad, <laughs> in my spiral so that I can go through my notes. But I do want to just say that I do think Shador Sanders will win Colorado some games next year. Um, the Colorado State Nebraska games scare me. I do not like how Colorado is at home, away, home, away, home, away. Now, I know many of people have told me like, oh, it's going to be fine. It's okay. I like the schedule. I like the schedule. I don't like it. I don't like traveling different time zones. I don't like all the jet lag. Like there's a lot that involves traveling. And I personally, whenever I travel back to back like that, I'm tired. So I can't even imagine my body needing to be ready my, I, I need to be prepared. I'm going from Colorado to Florida, back to Colorado to, to Lubbock. Like it just seems like a ton of traveling to me um, that is not consistent. Now, if you give me two home games and I can get my own, um, you know, schedule down and I feel good, I like that. But they don't have that. They're, they're never playing two games where they consistently get to be at home. That makes me nervous. Um, the thing that everybody is talking about that they do like is the bye weeks or whatever. I don't, whatever. I think, I think having bye weeks is great. Um, however, the problem I see when you have bye weeks and where Colorado has their bye weeks is they, what if they're in a groove? Like what if they're three and oh, and then they have a bye week and then they're three and then they have to play three other games. And those games to me are really tough games. So it just really makes me nervous how the schedule is outlined. Um, I also think that they play some of the um, games that I think could be toss-up games. They play those games on the road. That also makes me nervous. Um, going to play um, in Central Florida, that offense, last year they had a great offense. Again, I haven't looked at the transfer report or all these things, but having to play them in Florida and having to travel to that game when historically defenses do not travel well, that's just a fact of football, that makes me nervous. So they have to play, um, that's, a, that's an away game. They have to play Texas Tech at Texas Tech in Lubbock. Um, if you know anything about playing in Texas Tech, one of the things that sticks out to me is if that game is a night game, I'm also concerned because historically, the people like to, or uh, people, the college football likes to schedule those games at Texas Tech that will be big games. They like playing them at night because playing at night at Texas Tech, it's hard to win there. And so that game makes me nervous. Col uh, Kansas State is a solid program. It's just, they're just solid. Oklahoma State, solid. Both of those schools are solid. Lately, Kansas has been solid. So for me, when I'm looking at the schedule, I'm trying to balance between Shador, yes, being the best quarterback, in my opinion, in the Big 12, the most consistent, stable quarterback in the Big 12. Yes, I agree with that. Um, when I just look at programs as a whole and historically and how they're coached and their coaches as a whole, um, that's one thing. No matter what you have to say about Coach Prime, he has only been there for two years. That's a fact. You cannot get rid of that fact. When I look at the teams that are playing on the road as opposed to the teams that are playing at home, that also makes me nervous because when they're playing them, different things like that, I don't love that. So that makes me a little nervous. Um, if I'm being honest, as of me recording this video, we don't have a defensive coordinator. So I'm not sure what kind of defense we can be running. And because I don't know what kind of defense we're going to be running, 
Um, I don't know how our players that we have fit into that defensive key, defensive scheme that will then align and play the other team. So like, there's a lot of missing pieces for me that it, it's making me hard for really com to come to a decision and stick to that decision enough to come on camera and talk about it, at least in my opinion. Um, the other thing that I think also that makes me nervous is the back half of the schedule. I don't really love it. And so for me, I'm dealing with all of these like conflicting feelings. I'm not sure what I think about the schedule. I'm not sure what I think um, about Colorado's schedule and their record this year. So I am not going to make a video until I know 100% sure what I feel and why I feel that way and I can actually give that information. But I did wanna just drop a little bit more tidbits in a longer video about my reason for not being sure and my reason to be stuck on so many different things is because there's so many different dynamics that I'm just not sure about. And until I'm sure about those things, I'm not going to make a video and state my opinion because I want that video to be how I feel with as much information as I can potentially have. Now, my hope is that we can get a DC and I can start to think, figure out what I think. But right now, um, not knowing that, I'm just not sure. But I do know that Shador is the best is going to be the best quarterback in the Big 12. And I do think Colorado is going to be better. Um, I just know what has been happening historically with some of the teams that are going to be playing. Um, and just looking at those teams win records over the past, whatever. I do want to say one other caveat that I want to add about the Big 12. Um, I think the Big 12 plays solid football. I think the weird thing about the Big 12 that happens often is teams that aren't supposed to win games end up winning games and losing games they're not supposed to lose. For example, last year, Texas loses to Oklahoma, right? And everyone's like, Oklahoma's ranked number five, whatever. They're ranked so high. They're going to be so great. Then all of a sudden, Oklahoma couldn't get their crap together and just fell off. Nobody saw that coming. Then on the flip side of that, you have Oklahoma State that got into the Big 12 championship game, but go look at the teams that they lost to. So when you look at the Big 12, just remember as you are thinking about these teams, weird things happen in the Big 12. Sometimes teams that are supposed to win, lose, and sometimes teams that are supposed to lose, win. And so it's really hard for me to figure out what I think because that always happens in the Big 12. And I hope, like I wanna come on here and say Colorado is going to go 12 and 0, but I just wanna be more respectful of the process, of my process, of all the teams, and the Big 12 of everything I know about the Big 12 because I have heard a lot of weird things lately and it made me realize that a lot of people aren't researching the Big 12 and you really don't know Big 12 football and you're basing your opinion only based off of what Colorado has and you're not people aren't looking at the Big 12 as a whole to see what other teams have. That's just my opinion, but I will come back and I will make a longer video about each game specifically once I have those thoughts pinned down in my head and I feel comfortable with them.